What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. Today on the channel, we're talking about outdoor wood boilers. So inevitably, if you have a wood door or an outdoor wood boiler and you are in heating season, you might run into some issues with overheating in milder temperatures. So today we're gonna go over cleaning your draft door, why it's important, and uh, just a simple tip that I like to do and keep up with so that you don't run into problems in the future. Let's head on outside and let's get this project going. All right guys, now that we're out at the wood boiler, uh, what we're gonna do is literally just clean off our draft door and I will probably do a different video, a completely separate video of replacing the door rope. So if you're having issues with your boiler overheating um, and otherwise just running out of control in mild weather, um, it is most definitely a draft issue. So um, I'm gonna get, bring you guys in close. I'm gonna show you exactly how I clean the draft door off. Um, you simply, on this unit, you simply need a flathead screwdriver and a uh, flat bladed scraper and we're gonna clean this bad boy up. Okay, so the reason why I brought you guys in really close is I want you to see exactly what needs to happen here. So this is your draft door here, and this flaps shut against your door. So we'll look at this from both the inside where we're looking at right now, and we'll look at it from the outside. So naturally there's stuff that's going to accumulate here that's close to the door that could hinder it from coming shut all the way. So as I turn the power off to the unit, you can see there's something here on the left-hand side um, that might be getting in the way here. Um, I don't have an issue right now. I'm pretty clean, but this definitely gets some buildup on it. And I'm going to go ahead and kill the power, and I'll show you how the door just flops down. <clears throat> Okay, so this is crucial here that this mating surface in between this door and the edge here is clean. This will get you a nice uh, solid seal. I mean, literally there's no air sealing here. It's just metal on metal. So you wanna make sure that this uh, mating surface is clean so that you don't have any air leakage through here. You get oxygen leaking through here, you're gonna have a runaway uh, boiler and then you're going to wonder why you're boiling water when it's, you know, a mild day. Uh, so I just go ahead and make sure everything is scraped back from my edges here. And then once I've cleaned out the interior here for the most part, and I'm happy with it, we'll move to the outside of the door and I'll show you. Um, it's a little easier to see your mating surface from the outside. Let's go over that way. All right, so you might have a central boiler, you might not. Um, the central boiler makes it pretty easy to take off this exterior uh, shield here with just two flathead screws that basically just go into sheet metal anchor nuts. Now once you take that off, you have your draft door on the outside. So I wanna bring you up here so you can see this mating surface. All right, so our mating surface right along here is what you always want to keep clean. So it's inevitably just going to keep uh, building up with all kinds of junk and stuff that uh, you know just comes out from your combustion. And you always wanna make sure that this area stays clean. Some people take uh, wire grinders to this. Um, you know, if you take something extremely abrasive to this, you're literally going to be taking down the metal. So as you continue to do it, um, you are you know, changing the actual shape of the metal. So I like to just take a nice little scraper here and get it clean and not take off any metal. Um, just scrape off all of the crap that you know, gets in here. If it, get, if it got extremely bad, um, there's two bolts up here that you can take this draft door completely off. And instead of scraping on the underside of it and trying to get this area clean, you could just take the door completely off and take a wire wheel to it or something to get that surface clean. But um, the easiest way to make sure that you've done your job is to look at the actual air gap here. 
So we'll take our camera down here and then we'll point it straight up at the at the uh, draft door and then you'd be able to see light through it. So that's where you want to, you know, kind of aim your head is to look up into it and make sure there's no, uh, uh, no light showing um, as you look at the draft door. But that's simple preventative maintenance to keep you from overheating uh, in these milder, uh, milder times while you're still burning a fire. <sighs> All right, so I hope this helps someone out in their wood burner uh, adventures, I guess, because it's always an adventure with an outdoor wood boiler. So I hope this helps someone out. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. We'll be doing a, uh, a door rope replacement. Um, I'm probably going to do this year a um, basically a seven year update on the central boiler CL6048 and there will just be more videos about the wood boiler in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next video.